Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn about Rib tool and Trap tool. I have created one object here with horizontal plate and vertical plate. And I want to create one rib here. Click on rib. Then select the plane. From here you can select the plane. I want it on front plane. Then make it normal to and create one line from this point to this point then ok then orbit it here you can give the width of the rib then you can have the rib on one side on first side or on the other side or on both side 50 50 on both side if you want this direction to change then you can click here flip material side whether you want it outside or inside if you want draft applied to the rib from here you can apply di draft directly click on draft on off and give the angle how much you want 10 degree from here you can view the preview detail preview and orbit it so here draft is applied on the rib Again click here to cancel the preview and if you remove the tick the draft will be applied inward. So it will go inside the object. I don't want draft so you can remove it from here cancel it from here and preview and click on done. So this rib is ready. Then other cases suppose I have two cylinders like this and in these two cylinders I want to create a rib. So I have just extruded them and created this object. Here I want the rib. Click on rib. Then click here. Again I want to create on front plane. Click on normal. Then create one line between these two cylinders. From this end point to this end point. Then right click, select, OK. Again, this, all the things are same. When we done this, click on this OK. It will give the error, rebuild error, because it is not touching the circles properly. Therefore, it is not, not able to create the rib. So, in such cases, what you can do, we will just cancel it. Click on normal. Then you will have to create small lines here. Click, select the line command and create one small line horizontal here. Right click. Then again right click. One line here. Right click to come out. Then OK. Then select rib. Select this cage. And give the dimension. And click on OK. In this way you can create the rib inside two cylinders. And third case is if you want to create a rib. Suppose this one object I have created with extrude and fillet command. And I will create shell for a shell of it. Click on the shell. Remove the surface. Give the thickness. Okay. Now I want to create rib structure inside it. For that again click on the rib. Then select the plane. I will create sketch on this top plane. Then again click on normal. And create a, your rib structure using line command. There is no need to touch the lines on the edges. It will extend automatically. Just create the structure. Once your structure is ready, then click on, you can place the structure using smart dimensions, then click on OK. 
and then click on preview it has extruded it automatically on the surrounding surfaces and in between also and click on again preview detail preview and remaining command you can use it if you want it on one side or other side or around the center thickness you can give the thickness you can flip the metal side and click on ok so the structure is ready so that's all in rip command the next is draft for the draft we will again take next so th this one object I have created with extrude and shell. I want to draft this surface. Click on draft command. Draft is basically useful for molding and forging objects. So that it will be easy to remove them from the mold or forging die. First method is neutral plane. Neutral plane is the plane where the dimension will remain the same. And it will increase or decrease on the other side so I will take this top plane as a neutral plane then give the angle suppose I want the angle of 5 degree enter then here you will have to click faces to draft I want to drop this face then click on this preview here you can see the draft has been applied of 5 degree and the dimension of the top face will remain the same and it has increased on the bottom side. Cancel the preview. Then there is this face propagation options are there. If you select it, it is all faces. If you click on all faces, it will draft all the faces. If you see the preview, it has dropped inside faces also, outside faces also if you see the top view it has applied draft on on sides inside and outside both I now cancel the preview if you want to do all the inner faces then draft then select the neutral plane then select the inner face actually and then apply the propagation of inner faces so it will apply draft on all the inner faces here we can see the top view ok the draft value is very less 10 degree and preview here it has applied draft on all the inner faces same way if you want it on outer face then you can give the outer faces it will apply on the all the outer faces and for this along tangent we will take one more object Suppose we will all faces done. Then for that we will have one more object. Here I have one fillet of 20. Done. And now again click on draft. Then select the neutral plane then give the angle 10 degrees there faces to draft now if I click on this face and I want all the tangent faces then take the along tangent so it will take all the tangent faces so in this way you can use the along tangent if we edit this draft feature then there are two more draft are there parting line and step draft so for that we will have one more object draft parting line for parting line we will have to create one parting line here suppose we will create one parting line using split line command for split line command we will extrude this object on either side so we will take plane as a split line edit feature and make it mid plane and we will create split line at the intersection of plane and object click on this curve split line then from here is the 
sketch to okay we, i don't want projection i want intersection so click on splitting bodies faces i want to create split line at top line and faces to split is this this face and done so it has created the split line here using this split line we can create the draft click on draft then click on this parting line give the angle direction of pull i will give this top top line vertical then parting line this line then click on preview so from that line it has created a draft inside for by changing this direction preview you can create it outside and if you want to create it on the bottom face click on this other face and preview it will create the draft on the other face and on other face if you want outside then again you you will have to reverse this direction pull direction preview on other face the draft came outside then in this draft one more option is this step draft for step draft we will create a different type of split line we will just remove this object remove this draft split line and we will create a different shape of split line by using sketch command sketch select this face normal then using line we will create one shape like this right click select okay now using this sketch i want to create a split line click on features curves split line then projection select this sketch and select this face done so here the split line is created now again click on this draft then click on step draft then direction of pull i will take by direction by this top plane then parting line these are the parting line select all of them preview so here it has created a draft with step here if we create this draft without uh, without step draft how it will look preview so it will look like this but we don't want like this we want the upper line same and we don't want any changes into that in such cases you can apply step draft and preview so it will keep the top line as, as it is and it will create step here now in step there are two types of steps are there taper steps and perpendicular steps if you click on again preview and we will see the front view here you can see that the steps are taper actually taper created taper and if we now take the other option perpendicular step preview so step is create again if we take the front view the step is not visible it is it is a perpendicular step so in this way you can create two types of step that is taper taper step and perpendicular step if you want to bring this draft outside then click on this reverse direction and click on preview so it will bring it outside but in that case step will not be visible click on okay to finalize so in this way we have covered all the options so thanks for watching we will stop here